So I'm hiking in the woods in the middle of nowhere along the New River Trail and I come upon this what looks like a graveyard fence. So I started looking around. Oh. These all look like some sort of markers. Oh, in a little cemetery. I later found out that the land I came upon is a 12-acre island. The day I went, I just had to cross some muddy creeks, but many times of the year it is completely surrounded by water. Long ago, the island would have been between the railway, which is now the south side trail I was hiking, and New River. It belonged to the Red Ash community, one of the first coal mining and coke manufacturing towns along the south bank of the New River and in the early 1890s. During that time, there was a smallpox epidemic. Because there were no hospitals near that could take those who were contagious, there were a couple pest houses built to shelter those who were ill, isolating them from others who could catch the dreaded sickness. A separate doctor's home was also built on the island. Those who died there were buried on the island and their graves marked with simple stones or wooden crosses. Over the years and even past the 1920s, when Red Ash Mine closed, community members continued to bury their dead here, including men who died in mining accidents at Red Ash, Rush Run, Echo Mine at Barry. In March of 1900, there was an explosion in the mine at Red Ash, ignited by the open flame and miners' headlamps coming into contact with methane gas. 46 miners suffocated or died in the explosion and were buried here. Then in 1905, sparks from a mine car ignited coal dust, exploding. 13 miners died. 11 men who went in to rescue them also died in a second explosion. In 1918, when the Spanish influenza epidemic ran rampant across the U.S., young and old in these small New River mining communities may have been isolated and not enough so that they could not escape its wrath. Those who died here were buried at Red Ash. I guess I should probably tell you how I found it. I was out hiking the South Side Trail along the New River toward Red Ash Coke Coven. I heard what sounded like a newborn baby crying and thought it might be an uncommon bird to West Virginia on its migratory path. I like to collect weird noises that fool people into thinking they are ghosts, such I thought it would get closer and get a clip on my phone. I set off blindly through the woods, following it for about an hour, but the bird was nowhere to be found. Then I see some of these orange flags people put out to mark trails, and I look around, and lo and behold, they are marking the old cemetery, and there were plenty of dead babies inside. I guess it wasn't a bird after all. <laughs>